Hi, welcome to story time today. Our theme is pie. We're getting ready for Thanksgiving because pie is a, is a special dessert at Thanksgiving time. So we're going to start off with our hello song. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Now we're going to mix things up and we're going to do the itsy bitsy spider. You ready? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Our first book is called Apple Pie ABC. And it was written by Allison Murray, and it's read with the permission of Hyperion Books. A, apple pie. B, bake it, cool it, dish it out. Eager for it, find a crumb of it. Get a taste for it. Have to get a lick of it. Uh-oh. In trouble. Jump for it. Kept away from it. Leave without it. Miserable. Not giving up. Ogle it, pine for it, quietly determined, ready, steady, time to go for it. Underneath it, very nearly, whoops. Exit quickly, yum, yum. Go to sleep and dream of it. Next, we have a flannel board, and it's called I Can't Wait for Pumpkin Pie. We have five little pumpkins. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five little pumpkins on a vine. Five little pumpkins are all mine. I pull one off and then I sigh. <sighs> I can't wait for pumpkin pie. Four little pumpkins on a vine. Four little pumpkins are all mine. I pull one off and then I sigh. <sighs> I can't wait for pumpkin pie. Three little pumpkins on a vine. Three little pumpkins are all mine. I pull one off and then I sigh. I can't wait for pumpkin pie. Two little pumpkins on the vine. Two little pumpkins are all mine. I pull one off and then I sigh. I can't wait for pumpkin pie. One little pumpkin on the vine. One little pumpkin is all mine. I pull one off and then I sigh. I can't wait for pumpkin pie. No little pumpkins on the vine. No little pumpkins are all mine, but I don't have to make a sigh because it's time for pumpkin pie. Our next um, is our literacy tip. And the tip this week is to make books available all around your home for your children. You should keep books near their toys to demonstrate that reading can be a playful activity. It's not just all work. Um, and our next book is called All for Pie and Pie for All. It was written by David Martin and illustrated by Valerie Gorbachev. And it's read with the permission of Candlewick Press. Grandma Cat made an apple pie. Little brother cat ate a piece, big sister cat ate a piece, mama cat ate a piece, papa cat ate a piece, grandma cat ate a piece, and one piece of pie was left. 
hmm, I wonder what they're going to do with that. And then the cats all took a nap. I smell apple pie, said Grandma Mouse. Little brother mouse ate a piece. Big sister mouse ate a piece. Mama mouse ate a piece. Papa mouse ate a piece. Grandma mouse ate a piece. And six crumbs were left. Hmm. And then the mice took naps. I smell apple pie, said Grandma Ant. Little brother ant walked away with a crumb. Big sister ant walked away with a crumb. Mama ant walked away with a crumb. Papa ant walked away with a crumb. Grandma ant walked away with a crumb. And one little crumb was left. Then baby ant woke up from her nap. Pie, said baby ant. Baby ant walked away with the last crumb. Then the pie was all gone. I'm hungry. Should I bake another pie? Asked Grandma Cat. Yes, 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 meowed the cats. Yes, 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 squeaked the mice. Yes, 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 yelled the ants as loud as they could. So Grandma Cat baked another pie. This one was a blueberry. And Brother Cat and Sister Cat and Brother Mouse and Sister Mouse and Brother Ant and Sister Ant and even Little Baby Ant all helped make it. And then everyone helped eat it until not even a crumb was left. The end. I have another flannel board and it's called Yummy Pies and it's to the tune of Three Blind Mice and it goes like this. Pies, 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 yummy pies, yummy pies. Strawberry, blueberry, cherry too. Apple and key lime to name a few. Chocolate and lemon, how about you? I love pie, ha, that's no lie. <laughs> and our last story is called Pie in the Sky and it was written by Lois Eller. And it is read with the permission of a Harcourt Incorporated. This tree was here when we moved in Dad says, it's a pie tree. I've never seen pies growing on a tree. Would it that be something? Dad showed me buds on our tree today. He says that's a good sign, but we won't know till summer if we'll get pie. Winter's finally over. Sweet spring is here at last, but the buds we saw last fall are bursting into bloom. But now a damp wind is blowing and all the flower petals are falling down like rain. You know what? I think something's finally growing on that tree of ours. The birds sure sound excited. I wonder what's going on. Uh-oh, now I see. It's a cherry feast. But hey, raccoon, save some for us. At last, Dad says it's time for us to pick cherries. We're going to make a pie. First, we wash the cherries and we squeeze out all the pits and save the juice. Then we put the cherries in a bowl. We add the juice, flour, sugar, cinnamon, and stir it with a spoon. Next, we mix the pie crust dough. We roll out two crusts 
and press one in the pan. Then we pour the filling in. We add the top crust, put the pie in the oven, and wait for it to bake. Now Dad cuts the pie. He puts a piece on each plate. Wow! That was the best pie I've ever eaten. I wonder if the birds would like it. The end. Um, then we have our craft and it's a piece of pie. And this one is pumpkin pie. It comes with two pieces of pie that you glue together and then kind of fold up the edge and pinch pinch it together to make the crust and then glue the paper onto it and then add a little bit of whipped cream with the cotton ball. The last thing that we have to do is say our goodbye song and it goes like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. We're going to have a special story time next Tuesday, um, and it's going to be about polar bears. So join us then. Thanks. Bye-bye.